Around the fire, Imperial prisoners spoke in the night. A couple were plotting to escape. Others begged to be let go. The rest simply waited for what an officer would decide if they could join the army. One older man in his late forties spoke of his experience on the front lines. I was there, I tell you. I saw him riding through the brush. A few soldiers listened in while warming to the fire. He cut our riders down one by one. I was there with my bow and steed, but I wouldn't dare shoot, lest the demon know where I am. I rode until being pulled off, and when that happened, I ran. Ran into the mess that was our ranks. It was like seeing a bear break through a wicker wall. The demon's armies cut through us like boiled water through snow. I saw the red demon coming for us, his cold iron mask with those cold holes for his eyes. I've never looked into such eyes, so much horror I felt looking there. He took a swig of his remaining ale in his deer skin. Then, I was rounded up with all of you lot and taken here. One younger boy leaned in. What's to happen to us? Are we going to get killed? Sacrificed to false gods? The older man looked at him and shouted aloud, Ha! Is that what they've been telling you recruits? Nah, nah, he'll put a spell on us. He'll look at us in the eyes and with fires from the twelve hells he'll get ya! One other prisoner cried out behind him and everyone laughed and cackled seeing the boy's shock and terror. <laughs> No, boy. We'll stay in this camp till they figure out what to do with us. He went for another sip of his ale, but the skin was empty. Get some sleep, boy. It's gonna be a march. Hey, everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to the chapter of the adventures of Partia Al Eat in Bannerlord. Even Partia's prisoners find the time to drink and jest and be merry, to ponder escape and yet decide better of it. Perhaps this is why they join him so often and so readily. They see what Partia promises for all who stand by him and join the Ishkas. The chance to drink and jest and be merry. But alas, at first, they are all shackled by the same chains. War. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Bannerlord. It's going to be a tense start to this session, at the very least, as we try to rush north all the way to, uh, I mean, oof, where are we even headed? To uh, Omor. Well, I, I suppose we're headed towards Varcheg to try and cut off this caravan that is currently headed to Omor and eventually is going to head towards Varcheg. Now, some of you have suggested that I should just ignore this quest and I should prevent myself from getting stuck in an endless loop of trying to prevent this uh, conspiracy from sort of coming to fruition. And I totally hear where those thoughts and opinions are coming from, and it's certainly something I've been contemplating for a while. I'm hoping that when we complete this quest, we'll actually knock the progress meter down by a significant enough amount that we'll be able to ignore the next two quests, and then we'll have to pay attention to the third quest down the line. So I'm trying to basically buy us some buffer time, so to speak, by accomplishing this quest. Ideally, by the time that next quest would come around, we will actually accomplish the overall mission to prevent Istiana's plan from actually executing. Now, I don't know if that's even possible anymore, because as you'll recall... Um, <laughs> can I even find it anymore? Yeah. Uh, nope, not this one. It's somewhere in here. Uh, somewhere in Weaken Empire? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Um, I, I, I was supposed to try and get there to be four, fewer than four Imperial-owned settlements. Um, and I'm still trying to do that in the hopes that even though Arzagos is dead and our agreement with him has been cancelled, I'm hoping that doing so will trigger the end of Istiana's plan. Uh, it, rather than allowing this conspiracy, like I said earlier, to come to fruition. So that's the hope, that's the play um, so yes, we're not going to be chasing these quests around forever. It's just this one over here, which would allow us to skip the next two, and then you know we'd have to jump on the uh, third one down the line. That's the that's the hope, at least. With that said, I saw some suggestions that I should maybe help out the uh, situation over here. Looks like Melkea might require some of our assistance, but in all honesty, I do not think 
uh, we have the, uh, the, the the time to spare to do that. We have to move quickly. We must leave Lagetta right now. We must Lagetta out of here because there's only one gate into and out of Lagetta, and it is to the south, and we must travel all the way up north towards uh, Varcheg. So I'm actually going to go ahead and give an order straight to Varcheg. My hope is that as this um, caravan comes through from Omor up towards Varcheg, they'll probably they'll be passing through like this area, more or less, and if we're able to... Uh, if we're able to cut them off, even just outside the, the gate, which I believe is south-facing as well over here, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's that and not this, uh, then we should be we should be fine. So that's that's my hope. So let's go ahead and kick off our march and try and make our way up there. I, I think Melkea will be fine. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, I guess uh, we just moved too far south. I, I, I think she'll be okay. I hope she'll be okay. And I'm really hoping that we are able to get up north quickly enough. And uh, on our way back down south, as many of you have advised, I might look for an opportunity to, uh, yes, make some more merchants' banes and prepare for a conversation, uh, which I've potentially already had, actually. Some of you mentioned that I've already convinced our uh, upcoming target, the uh, Lord of Rote. I've already convinced him to join us, so I just need to have payment in place to, uh, to, to make it happen. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we're able to get into that sort of a position as opposed to the position we're in right now, which is very much on the back foot. Looks like Malkea did win her engagement, and hopefully we're going to see some more successes over here for our vassals today. It's been a bit of a rough couple of sessions, I'll be honest. I feel very much... Oh, okay, no, that's just... Uh... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's just the uh, update over here because these guys are now moving on to Varchek from Omor. Oh, man, this is like... This feels like an equilateral... Like, th this feels equidistant. <laughs> from us to Varcheg and from Omar to Varcheg, this will be tight. This will be tight. Um, but yeah, what I was getting at just moments ago is that uh, I'm, I feel very much on the back foot. Um, even though many of you have given me sort of words of reassurance in the comments that, you know, we're not doing that poorly. The, uh, oh good, Odhan has created an army around Medjayat. I don't know if that's close to the front and I don't want to check right now. I want to stay focused here. Uh, but uh, we've sort of been, um, our vassals have been... Uh, Oh, there we go. Good. I was like, oh no, don't tell me. It's like, if I can't see it from here, that means it's already in, but I didn't get a notification. Then I noticed this plus one, and then I noticed this exclamation mark over here. So we should be, we should be okay, because they got to get over here. We, we should be fine. Um, yeah, uh, so I, I just feel like my, my our vassals have not been doing so well lately in their battles, and that has put us on the back foot and in a very precarious situation, uh, particularly because we are um, now fielding a bunch of lower tier soldiers not us specifically but our vassals all right this conspiracy caravan over here and intercepted beautiful oh man <laughs> literally if we had spared a uh, half a second a quarter of a second we would have missed them greetings sir why did you stop our caravan i trust you are not robbing us oh come on you're a terrible actor um <laughs> i was just checking on something you can move along god no i might be what are you carrying honest goods or weapons how about you let us have a look? Ah, well, I suppose we can drop the charade. I know who sent you, and I suppose you know who sent me. Certainly, you can see my wares, and then you can feel their sharp end in your belly. <laughs> you know, I like this. I, I wasn't expecting an interaction over here. Very well. To battle? To battle. All right, good stuff. We get to start off with a bit of a warm-up battle over here before we get into some... Bigger battles shortly thereafter. Oh dear, right, I forgot I'm not in an army, just a party over here. They are, it looks like they're actually coming right towards us right away. Archers up there, let's go. Infantry back up a little bit. Get our archers into a loose formation. Infantry into a shield wall. Horse archers pull you up and get you into a loose formation as well. And our cavalry, let's go ahead and get you guys into a wedge. I just want to mention as well, by the way, um... This episode today is, yes, a little sort of off schedule, a little delayed. I do apologize for that, but uh, I, I'm i hoping at least that this uh, uh, adjustment to the schedule sort of makes up for it. If you missed the notification this was going to happen, it's a great idea to be in our Discord, linked in the description down below, or you can follow me on Twitter, also linked in the description down below, or you can do both. Um, not only is, is the Discord a good place for like updates and whatnot, it is also uh, just a fantastic community to hang out with. Um, just chill and relax and find people to play multiplayer games with and whatnot. So, uh, you know, another reason to join in on the uh, the fun there. 
Um, but yeah, so we're, we're having today's episode and then we're gonna have an episode tomorrow as well, you know, as per our regular uh, schedule. And I think that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. It'll be fun to up the pace a little bit. I didn't want to miss or I didn't want to skip an episode because there is uh, a lot to do. There's a lot of tension in the air and I want to make sure we, uh, we start cutting through some of that tension. These archers are able to fire quite a distance, eh? I'm hoping my horse archers are able to come up over here and bait perhaps a charge out. Maybe get some damage done to some of the uh, cavalry over here. No horse archers on their side, so they're not being too aggressive. Our horse archers have arrived. Let's go ahead and pull them up to here. Keep, again, a fair distance from the archers. Hopefully fire uh, at the uh, cavalry. I mean, if we fire at their archers as well, I'm not going to complain. But come on, men. Up here with me. At least force their archers to turn around. All right, good stuff. They, they have the range, clearly. All right, should be able to fire away from here. Oh, didn't hurt too much. I think we're basically at like the limit of their range. Look at that back and forth. There's something about, there's something about just arrows whizzing through the air. Let's go ahead and pull up a little bit further. Or let's try and bait the cavalry out over here. Oh, looks like we got one person off their horse. Horse archers up over here, perhaps. <laughs> that one going over my head. Wild. All right, come on now. Get to work, get to work. Let's start taking some damage over here. We do have the higher ground, though. Could bring my cavalry up, but you can see how little damage I'm taking, even when I get, uh, even when I get hit. Good stuff. Another one taking off his horse. Excellent. Keep firing. All right, we're okay. We're okay. That was a weird visual glitch there for a second. Doing all right still. Man, this is great. It's like... It's like the gods are taking their souls underground to hell with that little, like, flaming, flickering light that comes up. Yeah, they're uncertain what to do because, um... Alright, time for us to move, I think. Nope. Made a decent dent over here, I would say. Let's get the glaive out. We'll follow our men. Ooh. Come on, this camera's actually gotten a little too close. There we go. Further, move further. Horse archers keep pulling back. Don't want them to needlessly eat a charge here. Provide at least a distraction. Okay, good stuff. Oh, their cavalry is actually... Alright, let's move. Horse archers keep coming back. Let's go. We're gonna have a full on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Acero watches over me. I was gonna say we're gonna have a full on uh, engagement now. I don't want to be caught out of position here. All right, archers are firing away now. Good stuff. Good stuff. Horse archers are back as well. Cavalry's getting their charge in. Beautiful. All right, good stuff. That was uh, definitely overextended myself a little bit, but I think we're okay now. Pull these guys back. Horse archers pull you back as well. Just so I can kind of adjust my circumstances. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was like, I just wanted to see who was friendly and who was not. Archers are still getting some work done here. First archers will be able to turn around and fire soon. Doing alright, we're doing alright. Oh, I was totally expecting my guys to get him. Okay, down he goes. More riders coming through. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a shield up in time. Good stuff, good stuff. All right here come their infantry. First archers in place. Archers getting some work done. Good stuff. Archers again have the higher ground. Infantry are ahead of them, so I don't have to worry about that. Leotold has been dropped. Go ahead and charge. Cavalry. Push up there. Let's go. Infantry charge is happening right now as well. Some of their archers back there, still active. And got our cavalry over here, horse archers up over here. Let's go. Try and finish these guys off. Oof. Missed him. Right, infantry has arrived. Good stuff. Yeah, we took a couple of losses after uh, the engagement began in earnest, after the uh, skirmishing phase was over, so to speak. But overall, I think we did all right here. Overall, I think we did quite well, actually. 
I'm hoping, hoping to stem the bleeding over here. I don't want to take too many losses. Who's left and where? Oh, no one. <laughs> and nowhere. Very well. Go ahead and give some more charge commands in case uh, there's more sort of XP to, to gather, I suppose. More training to be had. Now, we lost four, 11 wounded. Not too bad. Not too bad. And, you know, I would have I would have liked to keep a, a clean rec uh, like record there and, and just not lost anybody. One Mamluk heavy cavalry. One veteran caravan guard. Fair enough. Because eight heavy horse archer. Aw, oh, lost to Keshik, dead. That's that's unfortunate. Not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. Good stuff. Got another kill. There's, there's still four of them left now. And if there is the opportunity to train up some of our soldiers, then, uh, you know what? It's going to take too long. I think we're okay. Ah, and the moment I say I think we're okay to move on, we get a kill, of course. I actually got six kills myself. Leveled up my tactics a bit. Rathion. Yeah, he got wounded there, unfortunately. Leotold as well. But just wounded. They're okay. They're okay. Got to be a bit more careful with them in the future. All done here. All right. That's that conspiracy stopped. I believe the uh, conspiracy was at, what, 1955? Got a bit of gold there. Got some troops that have leveled up. Let's go ahead and do that real quick here. Eshig. Some fan champions. Volgers over here. Banner knights. Good stuff. More fan. More freebooters. Way too many archers in this army. Go ahead and get some more infantry. Higher tier infantry as well. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, feeling pretty good about our composition. I got some excellent suggestions as well as to how to like maximize high tier uh, soldiers. Like for example, maybe it's not a bad idea to, um, to maybe get some of our uh, companions or uh, folks from our clan at the very least to constantly ride with us in an army and to also give them some of our highest tier soldiers while taking on some low tier soldiers and training them up ourselves, which would ultimately mean an entire army with extremely high tier soldiers. It's a great idea. My only concern with that is, uh, and it just occurred to me now that I'm saying it out loud, my only concern with that is that we'd be running around slowly. So from time to time, we would still have to disband that army. And then who knows what happens to those parties if one of them gets wiped out or what have you, gets caught up in a silly fight. But nonetheless, this battle is done. Feels good. We, huh, I wonder if... I can have to kind of consider my circumstances here. I could. I've got some options. I could stay up over here and. Um, oh, yeah, see? I feel pretty good about that. Now, that's a huge drop. So I feel like, yeah, we have a couple of quests that we can ignore now before this becomes a serious problem again. Uh, but yeah, so I could either stay up over here, like go to Varcheg and whatnot, trade a little bit up over here, rest and forge after resting. Uh, that is an option. Ataconia Castle is under siege. Oh, they've got a battering ram done already. What all are, where, where are our armies? Tassinor's army is headed up to Mysia. Very close. These guys haven't left yet, so I'm not sure if that's going to work out. Uh, further down south, we have, well, that's just Najin's party. Adhan is all the way back down over here. It's so useless. Ataconia Castle. I mean, I could rush down to Ataconia Castle, try and relieve the siege over here. Again, they've got the battering ram done already, so I don't know if I'll arrive on time. And then we could head over to maybe Amitatis to forge some banes. Or if my journey takes me past Epicrotia, well, the thing is I'm tired right now and I need to rest before I can do any forging. So if anything at Epicrotia, I might trade, drop some stuff off to speed myself up a little bit. We have like a lot of prisoners and all that kind of crap. Uh, so that might help. A little bit, marginally. And then we can continue on down to Ataconia. And then we'll, yeah, go down to uh, Amitatis, I think, to um, forge some more Merchant's Banes in the hopes of convincing more of these nobles to join us. Okay, that's all good. That's all good. That's Aldan's army. Fair enough. All right. Are we on down? Chali of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by Gunnar of the Jawal of the Asurai. Man, I still can't believe we're fighting the Asurai. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> All these wars, it is just ridiculous. Alright, we're okay. We're okay. Atacunya Castle still under siege. Check the situation over here if the assault has already begun. It has. Oh, we're not going to make it in time. We're not going to make it in time at all. We can still go back down and, and retake it, but I think the better move then is to stay at Epicrotia for at least a day, get a little bit of forging done, since we're not going to make it 
anyway. That is really unfortunate. What was it, like 200 soldiers? 80 left. I'd be remiss if I didn't try, right? Could also go to Epicordia and dump a bunch of stuff to speed up a little bit. Prisoners. Don't want to get rid of too many of them. Dump some cargo. 0.06. I don't know how much of a difference that would make. Decisions, decisions. 70. 59. 56. The Karakurgit have contracted to fight alongside the Northern Empire. Fantastic. Oh man, 40. Watch, we're gonna like, be just short. Yeah. But Akunia Castle has fallen. I could move down right now to eliminate that army. Let's do it. We're, we're closer to uh, Amit... Well, maybe we weren't. We're closer to Atakonia Castle than we were to Epicrotia. Hurry it up. Let's see what we can do over here. Couple of parties. Now let's see what we can do. Go, let's go, let's go. Althanos' army. Oh, it's not a very large one. Well, it's been whittled down, I suppose. Speed of 3.7, eh? I don't think I'll be able to catch him, unfortunately. That was my primary hope, was to be able to catch him. And what's going on over here? Sanayan, Chagan, Manan, Honoratus, Yurik, Jatea, and Bortu all have been taken prisoner. Beautiful. Not sure where. I assume it was outside Mizea. I feel like a battle over here was just one. Oh yeah, that seems to be exactly what happened over here. Okay, good stuff, Tassinor. Good stuff. We need more We need more of that. Aragoran is under siege as well. I can't keep running around from end to end. Where am I right now? Let's keep giving chase. They're heading in the right direction. 45 defenders. This game really knows how to, like, tempt me and tease me, doesn't it? Plus three militia. Their food stocks are growing as well. By the time I come back, they'll be 100 plus. Oh, man. I can hope that maybe my one of my vassals will, will, will deal with this. Because I do want to head down to Amitatis. I don't think there is a land bridge anywhere. We'll have to go past this bridge. Ronia Castle has been redistributed. And just want to double check. Rote, who's in charge? Althanos, right? He's obviously going back there. I don't know if he's going to run out of his... Uh, uh, cohesion on his army. He's returning. He'll be recruiting and whatnot. The thing is, I can't even speak to him while he's in an army. That's an important thing to remember. They are not willing to speak of uh, betraying their liege when they're in an army. All right, to Amitatis we go, we wait here. We forge, we move. I have some regrets about not just simply staying up north, but hey, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Asinor traveling to Mysia. Oh, the Han, where are you, man? <laughs> where is your army? Uselessly traveling around. And just to double check first, the smithy. Yeah, we are all exhausted. Unfortunate. Plenty of hardwood, though, this time around, at least, so we are able to, um... We're able to forge, I imagine, to our heart's content. Go ahead and dump a bunch of this stuff off. Carrying too, too many splintered arrows over here. Splintered barbed arrows. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, everything we're carrying. Um... Sure. Get rid of all the splintered stuff. Oh, that was actually... What does it matter if it's worth something if I'm never going to sell it or use it? It doesn't matter if it's worth anything. And dump a bunch of this stuff as well. You can probably dump it all. Again, my hesitation is just that I click the dump all button and I won't be able to find where that tipping point was. It seems that there was no tipping point. They still have about 8,400. Um, what else could I drop off over here? Uh, the food, I don't mind carrying around. The silver ore, I suppose I could drop off. Have they changed how, how the coloring works again? Item is cheaper than average. No, they have not. Okay, cool. Um... And I should... The, we, we don't, we're not suffering a herd penalty right now. So all these cows and sheeps and hogs are not affecting us. Alright. You know what? They, they, they get to keep some money. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't think... Oh, you know what? Right. Of course. These things are pretty heavy as well. Oh, not moving too quickly. I could... Nope. That's a war horse. I'm not just going to give up a war horse. I hate how the scrolling is working right now. There we go. There we go. Cool. I could pick up some more horses, Sumter horses. Nah, I think we're okay. 
all done here. Oh, I didn't notice that. No, I'm not, I'm not sure at all. Go ahead and pick up something a little bit fancier, maybe. As some of you have suggested, there are better things to pick up when, uh... When I end up in a situation like this, though, nothing for me. Lorraine has good equipment. Regbald. Good equipment as well. We, 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 we look after our men. Yeah, we can give them some heavy lamellar pauldrons, I suppose. There. Tell these ones back to you. And... Yeah, sure. They get, to, they get to make some money, that's fine. We get some better equipment out of it, sure. Marginally, but better. All done here, moving on. We... Don't recruit anything. Oh, actually, you know what? May as well. We have the room. We've got 420 soldiers in my party. We wait here for some time. Malgan has created an army around Ve Velos. I don't know where that is, but fair enough. At least they're making armies. At least they're making armies. An option to Jaron are near here. Traveling to Amitatis yourself. Waiting until tomorrow morning. Oh no. Are you goddamn kidding me, man? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I was joking about this in the comments. Kaladog of the Batanians declares war on the Ishkas. I don't know if I have enough influence to... <laughs> to stop this war. I... Honestly, I can't even with this game right now. Just, if I could get support... Oh! Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I, I legitimately, I cannot believe it. There is support for peace with the Kuzate. I hate that it's with the Kuzate. There's support for peace with the Western Empire as well. Mmm. Okay. This is interesting now. This is interesting. Not the position I expect it to be in right now. Peace with the Western Empire means we'll receive a fair bit of money every day. Peace with the Kuzate will be paying a slight sum. My concern about Peace with the Kuzate is that they are so weak right now, and I don't want to give them the opportunity to regain strength. Oh man, okay, this is, a, this is an interesting situation. Not one I was expecting. Hold on a second. Uh, let's say we're done here. Not, not a conversation I was expecting at all, I'll be honest, so I'm a little thrown off. I was expecting war with the Batanians, like deep down in my gut, I was like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I wasn't sure what I would uh, do if peace was an option. Asinur and Amalgan are both on the Kazate front right now. See, ideally I get peace with the Batanians. That's what I would hope for, but that's not going to happen. The Western Empire will continue to make moves. I would like to get Atakonia Castle back before I push for that peace. I'm right here. It won't take very long. So maybe we maintain the status quo right now. Take back Atakonia Castle. See if we have the good fortune of speaking to, uh, what's his name, Althanos or whatever. Um, and convincing him to join us. And again, only if we have the good fortune do we wait. If not, we move on. We seek peace with the Western Empire. This giant gash in the middle of our empire. And uh, who, who has Aragorn under siege? Why can I not? I can't like move the map up there because I'm, I'm in the city right now. I don't want to leave because... I'll have to march back in, and those are precious seconds that I don't really think I can lose. Aragorn, I cannot see who has it under siege. I would assume... Um, the Kuzate. I don't think it tells... Oh yeah, by the Kuzate. Alright. We're gonna... We're, let's wait until... Wait until daybreak. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oros has been besieged. Oros down over here. 
Maybe it's just time for peace. It might just be time for peace. Come on now, give me that that money sound. There it is. Stop waiting. Um <laughs> I really wish I could see what the situation is up over here. Oh, you know what? We're gonna leave the town. Algaron. Battering ram and siege tower are complete. Might be time for peace with the Kuzate. We've lost Karenya Castle. We took back Mysia. We really pushed them back. We took so much in this war. This war has gone on for so long. Took back Hassan Falk, Shabal Zamur, Tamnu Castle. This is that war, just as a reminder. Took Dynastica. Took uh, Vostrum from them as well. And Marenya Castle. We took Onira. Mysia. It's too bad we lost Karenya, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. It is what it is. Okay, you know what? Maybe it is, uh... Maybe it is time for... For peace with the Kuzate. Wow, I didn't think I'd be saying that. War with the Western Empire, at least these two armies on their way over. Perhaps we'll, uh, we'll engage them. Maybe they'll defend Poros over here so that I can take uh, Atakonia Castle. And again, maybe we can get Rote. And then we deal with the Batanians, I suppose. All right, fair enough, fair enough. So I just had to think that, talk that through because I wasn't, uh, <laughs> like I said, completely unexpected. All right, so with the Kuzate... The Western Empire we would receive. You see that tribute? That's my punishment for being greedy. That's my punishment. That tribute has gone up ever so slightly, but it's fine. With the Kuzate, we are seeking peace. Hurts to do, but it's necessary. Pose that peace. Indeed, it is time. This war has gone on for how long now? Does anyone have, like, the start date on hand? Everybody. Everybody supports this, but of course I'm the one who has to propose it. Yes, it is time to make peace. Monchug, let us end this fighting. We'll resume it some other time. We've both had an opportunity, I suppose, to uh, recuperate. And we gave him a beating, though. This has been an epic war. This has been an epic war. A lot of our nobles have been freed. They had quite a few of our our nobles as prisoners, so that's actually very helpful for us as well. Partia of the Ishkas has decided to make peace with the Kuzate with the support of his council. Absolutely. Oh man, it is good to have that. It is very good to have that. The Western Empire is on the back foot as well. The Batanians. Now, we outnumber them all together, but we'll see what comes of it. I really did not want to do that peace with the Kuzate, but I think I had to. It's not about what we want to do, it's about, about, it's about what we kind of sometimes have to do as Sultan. Wants and needs. Wants and needs. Right now, we need to go to the smithy and forge ourselves these javelins. Go ahead and get uh, javelin. Yes, max size. Get the mahogany javelin shaft. 110. Yep, good stuff. These don't make a difference. We can make them the largest nothings the world has ever seen. They won't make a difference. And let us begin with... It doesn't, again, matter who's doing the uh, the smithing. Uh, but let's start with Karain. She can train up her skills a little bit potentially, but also uh, some of us are able to make charcoal at a better rate and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start with you. Yes, yes, yes. Forge away. These are the merchant's bane. The merchant's... The merchant's bane. Yeah, the merchant's banes. The merchant's bane. Singular. Right? Oh my god. I'm starting to forget. Merchant's bane. Uh, it's ironic though, that name. These things have become the merchant's boon as of late, I suppose. Another one. And another one. And you are tired now with one charcoal left. Uh, I believe I am very good at turning wood into charcoal. I am indeed. Go ahead and do a few of them. Maybe that was one too many, but we'll come back to it. Regbald of the Hills. Let us forge these javelins. You don't have all the required materials. Oh, not enough steel. Okay, very well. Very well. Did not notice a steel drop like that, so we must smelt as well. Might as well. Not with myself. This is steel, right? It is indeed. Is that the highest steel output? I think so. Well, this might be... Nah, it's fine steel. I need regular steel. There we go. Fine steel sabers. Gives us fine steel and regular steel. Sure, that makes sense. Anything else with better numbers over here? Any better returns? Ooh, yes. The fine steel spatha. Yes, for sure. The way to go. Smelt. Smelt. Smelt some more. A little bit more. Cool. I would say that worked out. Over to Regbald of the Hills. Forging. 
javelins. As many as we can here. Good stuff, you're tired. Good old. Red ball doubled up, that's good. I'm wondering if I want to forge that uh, special sword we were talking about. Not at the moment, I don't think. Not at the moment. I got a, a lot of great name suggestions, by the way. I didn't get any suggestions for a makeup. So if anybody wants to suggest, like, what we should do to make the sword, I can spend hours trying to come up with a cool design and whatnot. But if there are any thoughts out there, uh, I'm, I'm, I'd like to leave it open to that first. Um, and this, that aside as well, I feel like right now is the time for, uh, for this kind of diplomacy especially. We're going to need these merchant spains. Urgently. Knowing my luck, Leotold is going to die before we have a chance to forge this uh, sword. He is leveling up as well. Good stuff. Uh, are we good? Resource-wise, decent. Rathion, get to work over here. Don't have the required materials. Time to smelt a bit more. Long Saber gives us steel. Yes. Two steel. Fine Steel Saber gives us steel and fine steel. Melt a couple of these. And I think Fridina is the last to forge a few more of the Merchant's Banes. There we go. Pretty on point with regards to our use of resources. And Fridina gained a level as well. Good stuff. You know what? This, this smithing session was worth more than just the uh, diplomacy it'll allow us to uh, participate in. Let's go ahead and take a look at our character screens over here real quickly. And what we're going to do is... So Najin has gained a focus point. Or sorry, gained a, uh, gained a perk over here. Aid core. Do not pay wages for wounded soldiers. Increase village hearth growth rate by 20%. Or relocation. Influence gained from donating troops are increased by 25%. Uh, I don't think he's going to... I don't think relocation really makes a difference for him. Aid core, I think, works. Sure. Let's go with that. Upping his stewardship. Good stuff. Um, who else? Who else? I was so sure that our surgeon here has three focus points. It was suggested that he has a bow, but his bow skill is capped. So why don't we go ahead and... Uh, Pump this up a little bit. Makes sense to me. So I want to go ahead and... Sure. Drop the three in. He'll stay at a safe distance as I want him to. His medicine is already maxed out. We already upped his intelligence from last time. So I think that works out nicely. Uh, Regbald of the Hills has two focus points. Regbald of the Hills with a crossbow. And quite a bit of uh, room here. His scouting is already maxed out. So there's nothing to do there. So I want to go ahead and bolster his crossbow skill a little bit. Increase his learning rate. Yeah, sure. Sure. Let's do that. And Garathion. No, we already did him. Fridina leveled up as well. Two focus points available. Also ranged. She's got her bow maxed out, though. Her riding, we could up. She is a horse archer. We could up her riding. By two, I think. Why not? Sure, let's do it. All right, good stuff. I believe that is everybody who needed uh, leveling up. Yep, all done here. Hopefully that's uh, the right way to go about it. Some of our party are willing to join us and or take on better equipment, it seems. Yeah, at least one upgrade over here. Good stuff, good stuff. On, good stuff. So many prisoners joining us. Perfect time. All right, now we, I suppose, go north quickly to try and take Ataconia Castle back so that our net on this, in this war, sorry, is uh, positive. Net neutral or net positive is what I'd hope for. Uh, yeah, let us leave. Poros is under threat, but again, I'm hoping one of those other armies will come down over here to, uh, to help tackle it. And what I'm also hoping for is that someone will come from Rote for us to speak to them. Armed with our merchant Spains, the battalions, I don't even know what they're doing. We bartered Doron of the Western Empire off. Why? Why would you do that? Nothing is under siege just quite yet. The Batanians have really taken advantage of circumstances. Atakonia is up over here at Atakonia Castle. Alright, good stuff. We're headed there. And the camera has rotated a bit. The last of the Astra has been taken prisoner by Sven of the Ishkas. Why? Oh, oh, right. <laughs> wow. A little identity crisis there for a second. I was like, why is this in green? Okay, this is good. Talia of the Ishkas has escaped from captivity. That's also good. Let's move. Let's move quickly now. Quickly now. I wonder if I shouldn't bring some of our clan together under my banners. 
if I can. Looks like everybody's already in an army. Nops is 12 hours away. The battalions are walking around with some massive armies. I cannot take the risks I was taking with the Western Empire with the battalions, so I need to be more careful. I need to be a lot more careful. If I'm really lucky, I'll gain enough influence to push a piece with the battalions as well at some point, and then I can be in control of my life again. Aracuna Castle, 54 defenders. You know what? That's not so bad. What's the deal with Poros? Still under siege. Siege camp has been made. Where are my armies? Amalgan and Tassino traveling to Diathema. Dude. I need someone down here. Oh, the Han's army defending Poros. Don't know if you'll make it in time. I sincerely hope so. I sincerely hope so. I was relying on some of our armies. Some of our vassals actually getting some work done over here, but... Who's to say? 54 defenders. We're going to go ahead with the battering ram and siege towers over here. No need to take down the walls again. Makes it easier to stay defended as well. And you know what? We might not even lead the assault ourselves. We might send the troops in this time. Aaronix of the Ishkas has escaped from captivity. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Some of our parties are arriving. Ira of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by sea raiders. Sea raiders? Are you kidding me? Virgins. Ransom from the Batanians. Okay. Let's go ahead and just quickly check our diplomacy opportunities again. Ooh, support for this piece has dropped. I guess it's because we have peace now with the Kuzate. There's still there's still enough support to make it happen. Each camp must be done first. Go run going over there. Altanas, where are you, buddy? Where are you? I'm gonna try and defend these lands. The Wolfskins have contract to fight alongside the Batanians. Do you really need do you really need um mercenaries on top of everything else? Alright. Canis is a gift for my party, fair enough. I'm wondering if I don't want to uh, build trebs just to get rid of the ballistae. Those things can cause a lot of damage. Catapults especially can cause a lot of damage on the run-up. Might need to take some losses though. Is the battering ram done? I, I can't afford to um, wait too long over here with the battalion pressure. These poor caravans. It's your lord you have to blame. Lagetta has been besieged by the Batanians. At least it's nearby. At least it's nearby. Can I bring anybody else to me? Yes, I can. Andros, come through. Guzid, three days and ten hours away. Let's just bring Andros for now. Okay. Almost time. It's almost time. Come on now. I mean, I'm glad the Batanians are attacking nearby. At least I can do something about it personally. Alright, there we go. Time to dive in, I think. Oros is still under siege as well. But we'll deal with that later. You know what? Let's just go ahead and send the troops in. I don't think I have to fight this one. Send the troops in. It's literally like 60 defenders. Oof. Numbers are higher than I would like. I feel like I could have maybe done better. I was directly involved. What is this? 30 dead? Are you killing me? We should not have... that. I should have fought this myself. 30 dead. Lost a Fian champion, conspiracy commander. Oh wow, he's been with us for some time. Finally dead. Imperial infantrymen, legionary, militia spearmen. Fair enough. Recruits. Okay, alright. So there were some lower tier soldiers here and there. I lost a banner knight. Some imperial archers, recruits, recruits. Alright, I, I guess that's where the higher number is coming from. That There are a few greener soldiers among these, uh, these warriors. 7 leveled up, 30 died. I don't like those numbers, though, I'll be honest. I feel like I could have done better. Wasn't expecting this given the uh, the numbers we were up against. Not a lot of gold to plunder. That's okay. Prisoners, we can take quite a few of them, actually. If they're worth taking, I highly doubt it. Lots of militia over here. Some legionaries. Sure, I'll pick up the legionary. Pick up the trained infantryman. Pukilari. Sure. Why not? And the rest can go in the dungeons, I suppose. All done here? All done here. Yes. Okay, pick up all the loot. Now I gotta figure out what comes next. Relations decrease, yeah, you don't say. Ataconia Castle is taken. Election has started. We will show the mercy, of course. No uh, lords amongst us will be unhappy about that decision. Show mercy. Oh, in fact, the opposite has... Oh, no. Why is Sorados upset? 
Huh, weird. Normally, okay, I, I guess I assumed incorrectly that the influence icon over here implies that uh, someone would be made upset. But it's okay, it's okay. One, 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 one upset, one slightly upset clan is not the end of the world. It's not that they're upset either, they're just upset at that one decision. Tempted to put... Honestly, tempted to put some money down over here. Training fields being built right now at like 396 days. Sure, you know, what's what's 5,000? 200... Clearly 5,000 is nothing. 15,000 then? 49 days. 20,000? Okay, that's it. That's significantly more than I was willing to spend at the beginning, which was nothing. <laughs> and I mean, we're not even keeping this holding for ourselves, remember that too. And you... Yeah, that should be a decent start. We'll see how much of it gets done before this place gets attacked. We will leave right away. There's no time to waste. Maybe leave something behind as a garrison. I don't want to leave too much behind because, again, we're going up against the, the battalions, right? Leave behind... What? These Imperial Archers. Hidden Pawns, sure. Zate Archers. Mercenary Crossbow. These Militia Soldiers as well. Go for it. Upgrade these guys. Upgrade you as well. Surgeon Warrior, you can stay behind. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we can maybe leave behind some more, but... Just feels like a potential waste, because they're probably going to get attacked. And I probably won't have enough time to respond. Let's keep these guys, actually. And leave behind maybe some... Yan champions, because they've leveled up as high as they can go. Oh, we have 54 of them, too. There, let's let's drop a bunch of these guys behind, um, and, and hopefully that'll be enough to buy us some time to respond, if necessary, alongside whatever militia gets uh, added over here, and whoever I end up giving this castle to will hopefully leave some defenders as well. Yeah, leave this as the garrison. We leave right away. Hopefully the election starts soon. Oros, what's your situation? Oh man, they are building siege equipment, so hopefully they'll take a little bit longer to attack. Oh, the Han's army is over here. Oh, he might actually make it to Poros. Okay, good, good, good. That's promising. Legeta felt closer than it actually is, I suppose, in my head. Uh, well, let's Legeta over there as quickly as possible. I don't know how... I don't know what our chances are. It is quite far. Ride like the wind. See if we can't bring anybody else with us. Serratus? Sure. Only 68, but he's 12 hours away. At least he'll be able to join us, you know? Let's go, let's go, let's ride. Sturgeon and the Valanians have made peace. There is Altanos. With an army 450 strong. Besieging Arconia Castle. I have to engage them. Might be worth seeking this peace. Because there's no way he's going to disband right now. There's no way this army is going to lose its cohesion. And what I can wait for is I can wait and hope that it does lose its cohesion. If it doesn't, then I say we uh, we end the war with the Western Empire as well. What a twist. What a twist of fate. What a turn of events. Varagos Castle has been besieged by the army led by Amalgan. I kind of want him to win that. Man, I might have to fight this army. <laughs> Buy us some more time. See what comes of Poros and Amalgan's actions there. You guys are going to run away. They're not going to make it too far, though. Legeta, what's your situation? Battering Ram has been completed. We can't chase these guys for too long. What's your speed here? 3.3 versus my 3.7, so I'll definitely catch him. I said I'll definitely catch him. Come on now, my Zay has been besieged by the Asarai of all people. Someone is hopefully going to respond to that. Unless we don't have any more armies. We'll see what comes of it. Patrolling around road. That's me. We'll see what comes of it. Don't want to lose my Zaya to the Asarai of all people. Come on now. There it is. Partia. It's been a while, he says. Indeed it has. Indeed it has. Altanos. I hear you took out Konya Castle. I did indeed. There's something I'd like to discuss. Let's try it. Why not? Why not? Your liege Garius is not worth your loyalty. 
I'll not listen to such matters while I'm in an army. I was thinking, you know, we, we were able to make peace. That was new this session. Maybe, maybe this would be new as well this session. Uh, you know we're at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you, he says. I don't care. Yield or fight. And so we fight. We have to come out on top over here. We cannot take too many losses. We need to be, be strong enough to, to defend Legetta. Alright. Let's attack. This might have been a mistake. I might pay for this. This might have been a mistake. We'll see what comes of it. Not a bad battlefield from the looks of it. Let's begin. Ooh, not a bad battlefield at all, actually. Get our archers up front as quickly as possible. Get you into a loose formation. Horse archers. Get you up over here immediately. Into a loose formation as well. All the way up there. The horse archers are likely coming towards us right away. Infantry into a shield wall. We'll be a little bit closer here. Get you off your horses. Loose formation. There we go. I just want to make sure they were actually in a loose formation, so they were actually all firing. Four archers are coming. Oh, here they are. Oh, come on now. Good maneuver, but uh, wasn't actually able to catch him out of position. Go, let's go, let's go. Look at all those arrows, man. There's Akios dead. Not dead, but wounded. One noble down. Ah. It was a strike. Wouldn't call it a good strike. But he did hit me. Alright, he's pulled back. Well enough, well enough. We have so many. Our cavalry contingent is massive. Bring our horse archers up over here. Hopefully be able to fire away and bait them out. Some of their riders, well they used to be riders, are now mere walkers. A little lag spike there. Come on now. I'm like, this will be my death. Now there we go. Okay, good stuff. Go, let's go, let's go. Horse archers firing away. Come on now. Cavalry's coming through. Horse archers pull back. Down with this man, please. There we go. Excellent. Done all right. I think. Cavalry pull back. Go, oh, horse archers. Let's move you up over there. I see you. The dust we're kicking up over here. Absolutely wild. All right, we're still okay. Horse archers are coming up. Yep. Down goes that man. Beautiful. Need to touch of damage there. All right, fire away now from here. Safe distance. No riders threatening us. Good stuff. All right. We're giving the uh, Western Empire the Kuzate experience, I suppose. All right. Going pretty well. Going pretty well. Fading shots over here. It'll be one, one fatal blow is all we need. Lost a Kuzate Heavy Horse Archer, unfortunately. Oh, that seems to be it. Time to fall back. Cavalry pull back as well. Let's go. Cavalry is actually coming all the way. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Take this little high ground over here so I have a better view. And from here we should be able to fire safely. Cavalry, pull you up over there, let's go. Firing away, good stuff. Our archers will be active shortly. Those riders worry me a little bit to the right there. But we're okay for now. Archers, come on now. I think they're about to start firing. Oh, they are firing already. Excellent. Oh my god. Good stuff. Pull these footmen. And pull these horse archers back. I want to call them footmen because that's what the uh, voice line says. Come on. Down with this guy. Need to make sure I don't take too many foolish risks over here. Cannot afford to fall. Can't afford to take too many losses, can't afford to fall. We're okay. 
pull up. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Take this stuff, horse archers keep pulling back. Cavalry push through. Infantry charge. Cavalry. Oh yeah, here they come. Horse archers move up. There's the infantry charge. Cavalry give you a charge order as, as well. We're doing alright. Horse archers up over here. Firing away. Doing okay. We're doing okay. A cavalry charge into their back line. Reinforcements are arriving. They have 130 archers. Well, you are now, but... Small matter. Some horse archers off in the distance there, potentially. Trying to provide a distraction ourselves here as well. Losing some riders. I don't like that. I never like losing my cavalry to archers. I'm, I'm just trying to stall so that our infantry can arrive. There they are. Excellent. King's victory might already be ours. Doing okay, we're doing okay. Yeah, lost to Valanian Gallant, Valanian Billman. Taking some losses. Definitely taking some losses. Horse archers, let's move you up as well. We've done well overall though, I would say. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Obviously this can be losses in a in a war. Victory is ours. One last man here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's watch this duel. Come on, man, fight! Your Sultan, watch. Okay. Come on, prove yourself. Okay. Wow. I got a couple of kills in there, didn't he? Wasn't expecting that. Enemy are fleeing. We won the battle. The battle I did not wish to fight, but. It was necessary. 17 lost. 90 have leveled up. That's great. No one died. No nobles died, rather, I should say. 8 wounded on our side. A little bit of leveling up across the board over here as well. Good stuff. I say leveling up. I mean skill improvement, I suppose. 35 of our own leveled up as well, in terms of soldiers. Good stuff. Pleased with that. Gain some influence, too. Again, which I might be able to use to seek peace with the battalions. That would be funny. Eckhart of the Brotherhood. That was a lot of gold looted as well. I give up. I give up. Call back your dogs. You're my prisoner now. Indeed at my mercy. Abagai, you used to be of the Kuzate, if I'm not mistaken. You yield. You're my prisoner as well. Archon Akios, my prisoner. And Altinus, I just wanted to have a conversation, but now you're my prisoner. Funny how, uh, fast life comes at you sometimes, huh? Some of these upgrades done over here. Okay. <laughs> Man, those damn champions are getting some work done. Hot damn. Upgrade all these guys. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Get you upgraded. Let's go. Pretty pleased, actually, with how that battle went. I mean, good training before we face off against the the dogs of Caladog, as it were. Must be where he gets the name. <laughs> it's going to be a rough war, folks. It's going to be a rough war. More Darkhan joining us. Excellent. The rate of some of these... Like, it's finally time for some of these higher tier soldiers to start joining us, it looks like. We're at what? A uh, decent number. Decent number. Could be better, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, among these prisoners, though. Let's see. We have room for quite a few. Imperial Legionary. Heavy Lancers. Heavy Horse Archers. Militia. Sturgeon Linebreaker. Yes, please. Looking at infantry, and something like an elite cataphract unit, I'm not going to skip over either. Hmm. This was not a weak army, so to speak. It was not a weak army. Uh, we could take a look at... I'll take this to 190. Sure, let's pick up these Imperial trained infantrymen as well. Because they're of a lower tier, they should be willing to join us faster, and I'm hoping that'll supplement some of our losses we're about to take as we go into battle against some higher tier soldiers of the battalions. The rest, others in our army can take. All good for me. Yep. Paying for some upgrades, pick up all the loot. Doing fine. It's really unfortunate. I'm not going to put Rote under siege. It has got, uh, well, okay, fewer defenders now. It used to be 800 plus. 
Now it's a 736. However, still a distraction, I would say. We go to Legeta. Try and protect that. Hope that, uh... Oh, the Siege at Poros has actually stopped. Mysea, though, is still under attack. Hopefully a Mulligan or someone will turn around and deal with that. Asin are going to Diathma, up over here, and maybe striking at Epicrotia or one of these castles. One can dream, one can hope. One can hope. I'm tempted, actually. You know what we'll do? Once we defend Legeta, I think we'll ransom off Althanos, and then come back to Rote and see if we can't have a conversation with him. Oh, this isn't good. Danny the Swift is going to not succeed there. I think that's what I'll try and do, and that way I'll have a reason to come back to Rote and see if we can have that conversation. Western Empire continues to harass us. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no. They're 1,600 strong. Legeta is a lost cause. 1,600 strong. Now, our, 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 our garrison here is going to make a difference, yes. But this has literally stopped me in my tracks. Our garrison will cause some, some, some damage, sure. There are about 300 soldiers, so we can maybe expect, let's say, around 600 soldiers worth of damage done to this massive battalion army. Right? Brings them down to about 1,000. I think I can take on 1,000, maybe, with my 700. Only 8 wounded among us, so it's more like 730 or so. Serratus might arrive in time. Sure. Takes us closer to 800. But I... I, I oh man. I don't know. <laughs> I do not want to lose Legeta. That was well won. It was well fought. It was well won. It was a risk taken. Yes, I, I should have made this decision sooner. Serratus clearly has the vote. Clearly has people's favor. So Serratus gets this castle. Hopefully he'll be able to defend it well. But that is not why I came here. I came here to take a look at our situation with regards to diplomacy. Support's obviously still zero. Some support for peace against the Western Empire. Weaker now, but it still exists. I wonder if I shouldn't dive into that. Just, just take it. Just take it, you know. Traveling to Mysia to defend, that's good. Aldhan has 1,100 men. Okay, you know what? That's, that's good. That's good. Does he have the cohesion? Oh, he's low on cohesion. This will be an interesting set of circumstances. And what's the deal with... There was a uh, siege. Varagos Castle over here is no longer under siege. That's unfortunate. So maybe it is time to push for peace with the uh, Western Empire. Could maybe get Sestadame Castle back. If Amalgan realizes Poros is no longer under threat, he might strike at Sestadame Castle instead. That would be nice. While I'm tackling the Batanians. They've only put Legeta under siege. What else have they put under siege? Looks like just Legeta for now. Well, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. I, I might want to dive in and try and take on whatever's left of these guys as this assault uh, nears its end. We'll make it before our army is completely wiped out, so the garrison will join us as well. And hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know. I might change my mind between now and then. Then being next time. Folks... This is where we're calling it a session. I wonder if from up top over here... Now, we wouldn't be able to see the uh, the army. We wouldn't be able to see the army from over here, but certainly scouts will have reported from this little hill over here. I imagine they'd be able to see on a clear day. Oh, man. That is a terrifying host. Only because our own numbers are so uh, timid. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, as you very well know by now. It has a direct impact on my sort of day-to-day -day approach with the uh, the series. And it's what's uh, it's a big part of what's kept this going. On the topic of things that have kept things going, a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who have kept this channel going, kept us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.